were here, and now we're here. What up, y'all? This is Drew, and in this video, I'm specifically talking to my producers that use Omnisphere. If you're considering using Omnisphere, or if you once used Omnisphere, you may or might not have heard that you can use Omnisphere's full library completely dry. What I mean by that is you can use all their sounds in Omnisphere, all 64 gigs of sounds without any effects, without any reverbs, without any delays, without any echo or distortion, without any chorus or saturation. You can do whatever you want to these sounds completely dry. Me personally, I find it annoying and a little bit of a time killer if I'm looking for a sound real quick and I have to go into the effects page and turn all the effects off or uh, modify the effects to my liking. So I would prefer to have those effects completely dry and then add my own reverbs, delays, saturation, so on and so forth. So basically, we're gonna get into it. What I have here right now, I, I'm, I'll be working at Ableton and I'm going to open up an instance of Omnisphere and show you producers out there that use Omnisphere how to get directly to the dry sounds within Omnisphere. So here we go. All right, so right now, obviously, like I said, I'm in Ableton and I'm gonna open up Omnisphere real quick. All right, so if you're familiar with Omnisphere at all, if you click on, I'll click on one of these sounds. Um, big nasty, see what that is. <laughs> So it's a lot going on um, with that sound because there's a stomp box on there, there's a stomp box compressor, and that's pretty much it, right? So if I didn't want any of that on there, I could basically, let me go back out real quick. I'm just going to show you all the difference between one of the sounds that are affected and then one of the sounds that are not affected. So I'm going to reopen Omnisphere. It's the basic sawtooth wave that you get when you first open up Omnisphere. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down to the pages here. So as you can see, there's orb, there's main, there's uh, A, B, C, D effects, there's arpeggiation, the arpeggiator. Um, but I'm going to click on the first page, which is A, right? So right around the middle of the screen, you can see right here I have an oscillator. And uh, I'm going to click on the sample tab underneath oscillator and then click on the empty bank window right here. And basically what that opens up is a sound source browser, right? And this is a directory of sounds for all the sounds that are actually in Omnisphere, all the samples that are in Omnisphere. So it's separated by category, type, source, which is which is all pretty standard, which is all pretty simple and basic, right? So to the right, bottom right-hand corner, we got the whole sound library down here. And you can search them, say if I wanted a piano, right? Search, and these are piano sounds, burning piano. So that sound in and of itself is already affected, but there's no additional effects. There's no reverb, there's no delay, there's no chorus, no flange or anything like that. It's just the basic sound, the way it comes in Omnisphere without any extra effects, all right? Um, personally, I prefer that because like I said, for that because like I said, I prefer to do my own sounds. I prefer to do my own effects. I prefer to modify and change it and make it sound unique to the way I like it. But if you're not that type of producer and you like to have the effects the way that they give it to you, that's, you know, that's completely fine as well. But this is just the way I prefer it. And I was yesterday years old when I heard that you're able to do this with Omnisphere because the first thing I do is when I find a sound that I like, I go over to the effects window and I turn all the effects off. Um, and this is definitely a time saver for me because I don't have to turn any of the effects off. They're already dry. And really, they're kind of like one shots because as soon as I let go of the key, it completely stops. Um, so it's not sustained. It's no, there's no effects. And I prefer it like that in most cases when it comes to um, to making making my beats. So basically, that's that's pretty much it. This was a quick video. I wanted to be in and out and really show y'all this gym able to find.
I figured I found this gem that you're able to use Omnisphere sounds completely dry. So hopefully if you're a producer that found this video helpful, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, if you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. If you rock with me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But in the meantime, that's all I have for this video. Make sure you check in for future videos. But if this is something that you like to see and you like more of, just make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Drew. Peace.